Hi guys and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Let's go to our map and see the only new mission is the one with John. Yes it is. Oh, what's this? William. Ah yeah, that's the herbalist. Okay, let's go talk to John. See what's what he's up to. What the hell? Oh, okay. It's damn saving. <laughs> it always gets me by surprise. Well, I should move a bit. So, John, what's going on? You never got us that oil wagon, did you? Ah, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I clean forgot. Well, don't worry. It's taken care of. Otherwise, we'd miss that train. Thank you. You're, You're still interested in your job, ain't you? Yes, but um, I think we'll need another man. I like Charles Smith for this kind of thing. I'll get him. You meet us at the wagon when you can. There's an old burnout shack up near the border north of a place called Dewberry Creek. We stashed it there. Thank you. See, Arthur, even you make mistakes sometimes. Sometimes. Okay, so we took too long to get that wagon we should be getting. Okay, but that's nice, that it advances anyway, but maybe we lost out on some, what's this, on some, what's it called, XP, or, no, they, I don't think there really is XP here, but okay, Robber Homestead. Okay, so there's another kind of job here to do. And what's that A? Who's that? This woman here. What was she up hey, to? Come here a minute. What is it? <sighs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay, so I have to do something with the kid. Maybe go fishing or something. But I really didn't want to do that now. I wanted to go the, do the big job. But maybe, yeah, let's go do this. See what this is all about. It's called Fisher of Man, so maybe we learn to fish? That would be nice. Hey, Jack, what's up? What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. It's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. But I don't have a fishing pole. I hope no Driscoll's commanders hit us on the way. So, where are we F1. Going? Undiscovered equipment, damn it. Oh, here it is. Um, can be found in the hunting section of the item wheel. Okay. So we had one all this time. I don't think so. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? 
know you was a little sick. Are we going the right way? Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, Should be going down here, brave. okay. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Item request. Well, okay. We'll see. Got fish to catch first. So another item. The one chick wants a pen. Right fast, Uncle Arthur. And this All one right. wants a storybook. Yeah. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Arthur. Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Um, hunting knife. Lantern, hunting knife. Maybe here? No, we don't have a. Damn it. Ah, here. Fishing rod, rod cannot be Did equipped here. Oh, ah, okay. Here? You mean? I can't wait to get started. Oh, there's some fish right there. You show me where, Uncle Arthur. Hold tab and R to use the item wheel. Equip the fishing Are rod. waiting for something? At first. We need some bait. Bait wheel. Cheese? Robber fishing cheese bait. Bobber fishing cheese bait. Okay. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? <laughs> Bellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Okay. Like that? That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. Okay. If you feel a hard tug. That's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur? Missed him. We um, were too slow trying to hook the fish. Okay. Whoop, think I got one. Pull him in! You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. Okay. This is a great fishing spot. Don't jinx it, kid. Look, Jack, a fish. It's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We One pound. <laughs> really throw these smaller ones back. Give him a chance to grow Throw up. back. Okay. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. Let's try again. I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. Oh, yarrow. Look at that spot. 
You gotta stick at things, Jack. I know. Huh, <laughs> another one. It's the same one, yes? This one's a rock bass. Not bad. Not bad, so maybe keep it. Okay. Where's the kid? Ah, oh, over there. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait. Try not to worry. Good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. What are you making there? You'll see. It's a surprise. Something's tugging at your rod, Arthur. Got one, Jack. Okay. Still all right over there? I'm fine. Another one. Oh, this one, one is bigger. We'll nice. Four pounds. Um, small mount bass. Hey, look at this. Hey, what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Who are these guys? Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kids seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton? Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want <laughs> Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard... Guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen, this is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh... Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty Who's shot that? up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Okay. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> what the hell? Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. 
Ain't they going to follow us? It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Where's my horse? Are you taking me back? Where the hell? I don't like it here anymore. Oh, over there. Are these the flowers the, the other guy wants? Can we go now, please? Yeah, Roy, yes. I need six of those. Get over here, kid. Okay, let's go back to camp and talk to Dutch. They ain't following us, are they? Disagreeable man, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's why so many people Good. like it. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey. You did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um, Milton and, um, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Why did they cross the mountains if, um, what's it called? Blackwater is like on. Not on the other side of the mountains. You look at the map. Blackwater is down here. They had to run from there. But the game started over here. We came down from here. So... Did we go that way over the mountains and then came back? Back to Blackwater? That wouldn't make a lot of sense. Since we were trying to run from here. So that's weird. John Marston. Oh, okay, that's that other mission. Hmm. Let's see, is some food done? I'm hungry.
Let's eat something. Uh, hello, Mr. Morgan. I guess we would need to. Oh, there's a lot of smoke here. Okay, I guess that's it. What's this? Is this five finger fillet? Is this that game with those with the knives? Yeah, looks like it. You saw Pinkertons, did you? Saw, met, and got the full message. What did you think? I think we're in real trouble, but the only way out is forward. I know. That Blackwater business seems to have finished us. Save everybody, you know me. Lenny? Hey, Arthur. That knife's sharp enough, ain't it? Depends. Why? You feel lucky? Do you? <laughs> oh, well, for me, at least six generations were born in chains. And for the last three years, I've been running from every lawman and bounty hunter west of the Lanahassee River. So, yeah, I feel lucky. I'm the living <laughs> embodiment of luck. That is one way of seeing things. But I'm also skilled. And in this game, you got to have luck and skill. And stupidity. The Outlaw's Trinity. Luck, skill, and just a dose of stupidity. Come on. You ain't too old and too slow just yet. After you. As you wish. You know, we should head back up that mountain sometime and make Jenny a proper grave. Some nice. You Five Finger Filet is a test of courage and coordination. To play this game, you place one hand outstretched palm down on the table and then stab a knife back and forth between the fingers, aiming to move quickly and avoiding stabbing your hand. A sequence of buttons, one lap, will be displayed on screen. Press the buttons as fast as you can to perform knife stabs between the fingers. You will stab your hand if you press the wrong button and hit it or is it it for too long. The beginning of each game you must place a bet, you win the game, you take the betting pot. New opponents will raise the betting stakes and the difficulty. Press enter to take them on or things to leave. Okay. There are three game variations, classic, guts and burnout. Each has a different objective. Perform the objective better than your opponents to win a round and win two rounds to win the game. Classic game, the objective is to complete a set number of laps in a faster than time than your opponent. You give 5 of 10 attempts. If you fail an attempt, the timer is reset and you restart from the beginning. In a guts game, the objective is to complete the most laps in 20 seconds time limit. You have unlimited attempts, but any mistakes will cost valuable time. In Burnout game, the objective is to complete the most laps in 30 seconds with no mistakes. You only get one attempt. Practice prior to beginning a game. You can play up to three practice attempts to sharpen your skills before taking on the opponent. Okay. Practice. Well, sure. I mean... Yeah, I liked it. Oh. A, 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 A. No. B, A, A. Oh, damn it. Okay. B A. Whoops. B A B A B A B A B A B A B A. Oops. <laughs> okay. The nasty game. <laughs> but yeah, let's play again. Nice and easy. Oh, you on my turf now, boy. Ah. Jenny will set a time where I have to beat one lap. Now, watch this. Okay. Oh, damn it. Okay. Complete two laps. Lenny must win to stay in the game. Uh. 
This is a nasty game with those big knives. Crazy guys. <laughs> okay. What is it now? Okay, complete two laps. Each player has won one round. Here oh, goes. damn. Okay. That's enough for now. That was a good time, thank you. Bye. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Let's go do that train robbery. I would say. What? Uh, I should have maybe a smoke. Um, health tonics, provisions, no, stamina, what's this, chewing tobacco, where are my cigarettes, whoops, damn it, I drank one, I Drank one without wanting to. Um, fully restores health, stamina, and dead eye. Nope. Fully restores dead eye and fortifies slightly. No. Oh. I want to fill up the core, not... Ah, wait, this one. Fire brandy. Okay. Am I going to be drunk now? Maybe. So let's try getting over to there. Uh, this doesn't seem to be a good way to go. Maybe up here. Yeah, this way. Oh, it's really hot, I suppose. I see, like, in the distance, it's shimmering. You see that? Like from the heat? It's a nice effect. I guess it's quite hot. What's this? What is this? Like an oil tower? Abandoned wagon here. Yeah, I guess an abandoned oil tower or something. Oil derrick. Um. H. Oh, okay, that's just an interesting place I get. anything here to do? Can we go down there? Oh. Uh, doesn't look as much of an idea going down there. Oh, he died. 
Did it fall, fall on his head or what? Letter from Cornwall Kerosene. Huh, maybe there's more to this. It's, it is very regrettable that you had rejected the various extremely generous purchase offers presented to you by Cornwall Kerosene and Tar. Mr. Cornwall has obligingly consented to allowing you a grace period of a further three weeks to reconsider your position, and we strongly advise you to do so. After that, I would be very concerned about a company of your size being able to continue to compete on price in the state of New Hanover and to secure acceptable rates for railroad transportation. We look, for, we look forward to hearing from you soon and as always wish you the best of good fortune in all of your endeavors. Yeah, sure. Not exactly what it looks like. But okay. Guess he didn't accept the offer. What is that? There's like three little barrels tied up there. Hmm. Did they just kill him? Probably. Take? What can I take there? Okay, fine brandy, nice. Anything else? Ginseng elixir? Your health XP. Okay. Ground coffee. Brew it at your camp to restore dead eye core and stamina. Okay. Let's go, boy. What is this? Hey, you don't want to involve yourself with this. You don't want to see what happens if you don't leave. <laughs> what? I know you now. Better watch your back. You crazy dude. Do you actually know who you're talking to? Why can't I aim, can't I aim at him? <laughs> the hell? Took my hat off. Huh. Who the hell was he talking to? Oops. Wrong. <laughs> All looted already. Can't I take this coach? I should be able to take this coach. Okay, so nothing here. Witness investigating. A nearby civilian sees and hears something suspicious. They may come to investigate. Investigating civilians are marked with an eye symbol. Witness that hasn't seen the criminal is marked with a dark red eye. They will report this evidence and law will come to investigate further. Okay. Crime reporters. No one knows it was me, so it shouldn't be a problem. I think. How did they report the crime so fast? 
There were no cops anywhere near. I think. Don't even know if I'm going in the right direction. Um, no, that's the one I want to go. get to the road. Oh, over here looks good. Where are we going to? He said like there's... the wagon is like in a cabin? Somewhere? Doesn't it have to be on, on tracks? Oh, what's this guy carrying? Maybe gold? Like a prospector? Hmm. What the hell? Who's shooting and why? Something going on over there. Oh, and that's where I'm going. Looks like it at least. A wagon here too. Okay, boy. What is this? This guy crazy right next to a house and he's shooting around like crazy. Shit. <clears throat> ah, well at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job Sean, okay. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real <laughs> fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Yeah? Grow up. And let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily tort again. <laughs> You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> me and the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen! Let's go earn some money. Okay. Well, let me see something. So I can't save right now, but I will put a cut in here. And then we will continue next time. 
So, hope you guys enjoyed. Come back for more and see you soon. Bye.